At youth clubs, how safe did we feel in youth clubs growing up? For me personally, I couldn't really go to youth clubs because of the people that was, anyone could go to a youth club. And if the youth club's in, in the middle of the area where most of the crime is, then yeah. you're going to see a lot of gang members <laughs> in the youth club, you're going to see the olders in the youth club, and we're going to get up to no good. And my parents took notice of that and kind of stopped me from going to the youth club. So I lost the, the perks of going to the youth club and, and, and meeting my, my friends and people in the community because of the danger of going there. So I think youth clubs can also be counterproductive because you, 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 meet, you meet bad people as well as good people. So it's kind of like, what do you value more? I didn't enter one until I was about 18, to be honest. When I was there, there were, there were so many gang members when I was working there. The kids that I'd like, I'd like tags and I'd experience certain times and it's like, but they were all from different areas and sometimes these areas would be. Do you guys feel like, you know how you mentioned having police in the schools? Because it was kind of a bad idea. Yeah. By having them in youth clubs where there's actually more likely to be criminals there, would that be better? Um, my youth no, 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 go. No, go. I, I don't, don't feel like anyone go. So I have a bit of a different perspective because, like, I work in a youth club, um, and but I never went to one growing up. We don't have the funding or the resources to be able to protect the young people like we would want to, and um, some weeks we just can't open because it's it's not safe enough for the for the young people, and we don't know what's going to happen and others we have to shut two hours early because the two, I, like, I won't go into it too much but like just too much is going down and like yeah we just we don't have the funding or resources or the staff levels to be able to give the support and protect the young people like we wish we could. My youth club was actually on top of a police uh, station sort of thing <laughs> which was fun. Um, I personally to be honest, I think it doesn't really change anything because as you guys said, that youth club was that one place that you're probably going to be in trouble if you go there. Like You're going to meet people that are not good people. And that was with police downstairs sort of thing. People really didn't care. Like Anyone can get in. Like No one's going to really ID you just for going in most of the days. Um, so it wasn't the most pleasant place to be like I had fun a few times with my friends and whatnot but when the older guys or other people come in it's just like it just feels intimidating it just feels like yeah if I stay here for three more minutes I'll probably end up in a gang t by tonight sort of thing. It's also some naivety whereas if I'm 13 and I'm carrying a knife I'm thinking in the back of my head because I'm not 18 it's not that it's not as bad that if I get caught type of thing so yeah. I'll be more inclined to carry it to the youth club and not really care if, if the police stops me because I'm 13 years old, I can say that. Like, I, I would know if I was 13 to say, uh, I was groomed, I was told the whole day, they threatened my family. Even if I'm lying, I know that if I say that, then I'm more likely to get away with it. So there's also that naivety there.